Okay, this is why a born-again Christian should stay away from buildings called churches. And in fact, on these gospel tracts that I make, um, that I hand out, I specifically put on them, stay away from buildings called churches, they are snares of the devil. And I fully believe that. In this video, I just want to go over some, top, some topics of why I say that. First of all, this whole church building system, uh, they change and twist a lot of words, and I think this would be a really interesting study. Um, I definitely want to go more into this, but, uh, you know, this has to do with mind control and brainwashing, you know, they completely change uh, words, like, for instance, they call a building a church, okay, or they call it the house of God, or even a tabernacle, okay. Um, the King James Bible says that the church are those that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, okay? It's the body of Christ, it's people, it's, you know, it's a living organism, it's not a uh, organization, okay? It's not an institution. It's all, everyone who is saved is the church. Um, but they insist that the building is called the church. They insist that the stage is called an altar. This is not a biblical altar. An altar is where sacrifices are made. You know, they're burnt or, you know, blood sacrifices. This, what we see today being called an altar is a stage. You know, that's where the entertainer gets up and, and performs on the stage. Um, they call an ambo a pulpit. Uh, many of you might not know this. You know, the pulpit is mentioned once in the King James Bible, but it's something that is stood upon. Okay, they don't stand behind... They don't stand on a pulpit today, they stand behind it. It's actually an ambo. If you look that up, you'll find out what that is. Okay, an obelisk, you know, a pagan um, statue. It's like a phallic symbol. It's They call it the steeple. Nowhere in scripture will you find a steeple. This is a pagan statue. Uh, this is completely pagan. Um, so it's basically a pagan temple that, that you're walking into. Um, they call, you know, a bench, a pew, and a lot of times now they're using just regular chairs and stuff, probably because it's cheaper and they can jam-pack more people in there so they can get more money. But, you know, the whole idea is, you know, they're changing things to, to make them seem like this is sacred. And, and you know, they, they make the building, they call this, you know, the building the church because the church is mentioned a lot in the Bible. So they can show you in the Bible, see, it says church, see, it says church, that means you need to come here, that means you need to do what we tell you and everything else. Uh, no, uh-uh, because the, in the Bible, the church is not the building. And a lot of times they'll say, oh, I agree, the church is the people, not the building, but, but you can catch them, and you'll catch them saying that the building is the church, and um, it's mind control and brainwashing, okay? You know, Sunday's the Lord's Day. You know, Sunday is not the Sabbath, you know, there's nothing holy about Sunday, okay, but they've made it seem like it is, and Constantine is actually one of the first ones, the guy who started the Catholic Church, he's the one who, you know, made people start worshiping on Sundays in these church buildings, um, you know, and they call singing worship, you know, that's, you know, worship is obeying the Lord in the Bible, it's, you know, living, you know, the Bible, obeying His commandments, that is true worship, okay? Um, you know, they'll use any translation and they'll say, this is God's word, you know, and I believe God's word, and they'll use uh, perverted translations like the message. You know, any translation that's not the King James is a perverted translation. You know, they all twist the scriptures, they, they remove verses, um, you know, but they'll use the message, you know, it's just it just came from... Eugene Peterson's mind or whatever, and they'll say, oh, this is God's word, you know. It's it's disgusting. And then they, they, they make a room, a sanctuary, you know. It's not it's not just a building, it's a church. It's not just a room, it's a sanctuary. You see, they, they try to make you think that this is, everything is holy, you know. There's nothing special about it at all. And this might be kind of stretching, but it's interesting, too, you know. A, a tub is a baptismal tank. You know, I thought about what if somebody wanted to, like, take a bath in the baptismal tank or something, you know, it'd be like, oh, don't desecrate that, that, you know. So first of all, this is why you shouldn't go to buildings called churches, because in the Bible, you know, they're not mentioned at all, and, and all these words get twisted, and it's all mind control and brainwashing, but 
Now here's some things I'm going to talk about. Unbiblical practices and false doctrines, which some of these things that could be switched between the two, but these are just some things off the top of my head that I wrote down. And I want to go into these things in more detail in another study, but tithing, okay, it is biblical, it's in the Old Testament, but it's not for the New Testament. It was never, you know, money. Uh, well, it's not for the New Testament, regardless. Um, altar calls, they're not in the Bible. Age segregation, youth group, uh, minis youth ministers, not in the Bible. 501c3 incorporation, you know, getting a tax write-off. Uh, contemporary worship, contemplative prayer, paid pastors, one pastor system, you know, there's always multiple elders in the Bible. Um, the distinction between worship and the sermon, you know, like I said before, everything that a Christian does that's in obedience and stuff, that's how we're supposed to worship the Lord. Um, you know, worshiping on Sunday alone. Running church like a business, um, this is kind of like a words thing too, you know, having business meetings, you know, the pastor is the CEO, the deacons are a board of directors, you know, the building is a physical plant, the people who work there are staff, the people who come there are customers or consumers, okay, that's all these places are is their businesses, and you need to learn that if you don't understand that, that these are just businesses for money, and they are tools of the devil, and you need to leave, okay, doesn't matter what denomination they... You know, a lot of them will do a majority of these things, regardless of what denomination. And denominations aren't biblical at all either. You know, inviting people to church. You know, that replaces um, that replaces spreading the gospel. Instead of people, you know, asking if they've heard the gospel of Christ, you know, they'll invite them to church. That's not in the Bible, okay? Saved people are the church, okay? You, you can't, how do you invite people to saved people, Okay. Um, you see, that's right here is an example of the word church being perverted. The sinner's prayer, you know, um, in the in the Bible, there's that prayer where the guy says, uh, "Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner." But I'm talking about um, everybody close their eyes, bow their heads, you know, look at me, and everybody, let's recite, you know, a prayer. Uh, even if you're saved, recite it. And now, if you said that prayer, you now you're automatically saved. That's not in the Bible. And it's creating tons of false converts. That's what these churches do. They make false converts, or these church buildings, excuse me. Um, it's something we have to deprogram our brains. I still have to deprogram my brain from, you know, calling them churches. Um, grave sucking, that's just a bizarre practice that, you know, Bethel Church does, and who knows who else. They go to these graves of people who are supposedly saved, and then they try to get the Holy Spirit from the grave or something. I don't know. That's how bizarre and stuff, crazy stuff gets. Of course, false doctrines, I could do page after page after page, but here are just some quick ones that are uh, pretty, you know, used a lot. Baptismal regeneration, you know, teaching that baptism is necessary for salvation. Uh, teaching that you can lose salvation, that's heresy. Calvinism, Arminianism, um, you know, that has to do with free will and, um, and, and God... Uh, pre-planning everything would be like Calvinism, um, faith healing, women preachers, gospel without repentance, soul sleep, annihilationism, that means that in hell you're just destroyed and you just cease to exist, it's not a continual everlasting fiery hell, so heresy, government, moral government theology teaching that, you know, it denies original sin and a number of other things. Uh, replacement theology saying the church has replaced Israel. Israel is not God's chosen people. Oneness or Jesus only, denying the Trinity. Mid or post trib, -trib rapture, um, denying the pre trib rapture. Work salvation. Uh, keeping the Sabbath. Uh, spirit baptism as a second experience. So, I mean, this could go on and on and on. These church buildings are just filled with false doctrines, you know. You're you're not you're not really being taught anything in them, and if you are, it's it's false, it's satanic, it's leading you away. And then there's de demonic activity too: tongues, uh, animalism, people walking around barking like dogs and cats, and you know all kinds of messed up stuff. Glory clouds, um, you know, seeing gold dust in the air or whatever, saying that's of the Lord, um, being slain in the spirit. So, that's just a few things. I mean, this is not exhaustive at all. I would love to make an exhaustive list. I'd love to 
uh, hear things in the comments, uh, more examples of these things that you can come up with that I haven't listed. But, I mean, is this enough for you? Is this enough for you to stay away from buildings called churches? Uh, it certainly should be. Um, and I'll go on uh, in detail and go through these things, and there will be, there's a lot more. Um, so this is just something right off the top of my mind. This is just skimming the surface of the evils that go on in these buildings called churches. So if you are saved, what you need to do is get a King James Bible, and you need to study that daily, okay? And you need to pray, and um, use what re resources you can on the internet and stuff, but just be, be aware, you know, of the false teaching, and, and stay away from these buildings called churches, because you're just, they're going to put you in bondage, and you're not going to be able to serve the Lord. So, thanks for watching this. I would love your opinions and comments. So, thank you. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.